Hello and welcome to another Nicomedia uh, quick tip. Uh, I got the question, uh, what's the best way if you want to make renders with different uh, yeah, positions of your object? So let's say I want a, a, a render with this position, then I want a render in this position, then I want a render in this position, let's say. And how you can make it so that you can render it frame by frame, so that you uh, render something like an animation and just make uh, each camera an own frame, so so I'll show what I mean. So uh, normally you could do, do this with takes, but uh, honestly, uh, maybe I'm the only one, but I'm not really a fan of the takes. Uh, yeah, but I don't need them really because I don't have such scenes where I, where I really need takes. So uh, I use for something like this, I use the stage object. And this means, let's say I make here, I want this uh, perspective here. I make a camera. Okay. Then I'll make a second camera, I'll just copy this camera, control, drag it down, activate this camera, and let's say, let's hide this cameras. So, and I want here to position. Then I'll make another copy of the camera, activate it, and let's see, I want this position here. And let's say we want the fourth one in this position here. So, okay. We have now these cameras. And what I want to do now is, yeah, of course I could go, we need, so we have four cameras, this means we need four frames. This is three frames, because zero is a frame two, so one, two, three, four frames. And of course I could go to the camera and say here in the basics, uh, no, I cannot do this. Yeah, the easiest way for me is the following. I create a stage object. So it's Shift C, stage, and here I have a stage object. Double click it. And here in the stage object, I have a camera slot. So I start with my first camera, and you will see buck, this is my first view. I make a keyframe now and go to the next frame. With G, you can go one frame forward. See, I am framed on. Now I simply drag the next camera inside it and make another keyframe. So let's see, go back with F, you go back, G, okay, go to the next, take the next camera, camera two, and make a keyframe and go to the next keyframe, three, tuck. So now I have for each thing uh, my own render. And yeah, and if I say now, let's render, whoopsie, all frames. So let's go just to a viewport render. Don't need to save here, output is okay. I want all frames and render it. So let's say in the viewport render we have here the filter, I want geometry only, and I render this, yes, and it's done, so I have here, first render, second render, third, and fourth, that's it, so easy is if you have different positions, so easy is it is to, that you can make this, okay, this was it, <laughs> this is a really quick tip. Next tutorial will come um, maybe today. So I try to, to record something today and then we do again a little modeling. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Wish you a nice day. Have fun and see you soon, hopefully. Bye bye. All the best here from Austria, Vienna. Tschüss and baba.